So you might be trying to figure out how you can make your move to iOS move basically faster. Now, this is a very, very, you know, interesting thing because it really just depends on how much data you have. If you have a bunch of data that you're trying to transfer, it there really isn't a crazy amount of ways you can go ahead and make it, you know, extremely faster. But the first thing I recommend doing is making sure your iPhone and your Android are as close to each other as possible and they're connected to the fastest Wi-Fi that's available as well. So basically these two devices will sync over with Bluetooth and with Wi-Fi and everything like that. So make sure they have the same exact, you know, Wi-Fi and everything capable, you know, for the most part set up because that is the very first thing that you're going to have to do. Now, you're going to also want to make sure you give it permissions for everything that you need to, all this other stuff. So make sure you go and give it, you know, the device, you know, everything that it needs. But that's the very first thing. The other thing is to make sure your application is up to date. Now, there's not updates all the time, but if your move to iOS application is very outdated, you can see right here there was just an update September 18, 2023. You want to make sure your iPhone is as up to date as possible. So make sure that's the case here as well. Update your iPhone and that can probably or update your you know move to iOS application and that can probably help fix this issue as well. Now if you do that and it's still very slow, what you can try doing is you can try going through and seeing if you can delete or remove stuff that you're no longer using on your Android phone. So in this case, if you click on storage on your Android device, you should be able to see these types of panels. What you may just want to keep a lookout for is to go ahead and see like which applications or which things are taking up a, like a lot of software or a lot of you know storage. If things are taking up a lot of storage within your phone, you might just want to go ahead and just see if you can actually go through and like remove some applications or remove some games that you no longer play or use. Like if you don't longer if you no longer use Genshin Impact, delete it and you won't have to transfer it, and that'll save so much time you won't even believe from your transferring speeds. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.